Right. Yeah, Mariano has missed six there. phone calls oh, throughout the stream. They line. found the one thousand dollar chip. Hundred out of it. Yeah. I will. <laughs> and I will sign it. I will sign it. A FaceTime call with Brad Owen to whoever yes. finds this chip. You need to take a video of you like retrieving it. Right. Right, Brad. Help me out here. Pocket aces. I'll take. I'll take for Brad. Yes. The second time that he's had aces. So you had to explain that there was a casino chip. I said that I dropped something important. Yusha not interested in playing the king queen. Alex a suited ace ten. Might be thinking that Brad is three betting light on the button, perhaps, and he's reaching for yellows. Four betting at the wrong time, and Brad saying, finally. It would make a good story. I want it back really bad. It's a thousand bucks, dude. You should, like, not, if you get that back, don't cash it in, man. That's like, keep it on your desk. How rich do you think I am, man? I'm cashing that shit in ASAP. How far down was it? You could see it. Four bets, thirty-eight hundred dollars. Brad puts in the five bet to eleven thousand. You know, I didn't have a fucking coat hanger and bubble gum with me at the time for some reason. <laughs> the care. one time I don't have it on me. He's got his backpack here. Everything it's like a MacGyver backpack. Right, Everything yeah, is that's in there. the problem when you don't have a backpack. You forget your <laughs> coat hangers and bubble gum. Yeah, you have that, right? What does Alex do here? Can he get away hangers, yes. on the cheap? We saw a six bet yesterday. It was aces. Can we see a six bet with ace ten suited? Do we flat the eleven thousand? But at a safe distance, of course. Alex was one of the best stairs in the business. Does not like to surrender light. But he's in awful shape here at 13% equity. Reaches for the bubble gum, makes the call. 22.7. In the middle, pre flop. Brad's locked in. And what a flop for Ace 10 of clubs. The perfect flop for Ace 10 of clubs, but you are still behind. As Brad takes a deep breath, all the chips will be going in, folks. Just buckle your seatbelts. Sounds good to me. See what I did there? Sounds good to me. You know what they call that? Itinerary. Depends what happens tonight. Brad staring at the board. Alex staring through Brad's soul. You see Brad take a look at Alex's stack. Don't make me engage try hard mode. Goes for thirteen thousand. In a town that is supposed to be twelve. And if you're Alex, this is going in. Forty-five minutes for some reason. Yep. You try to angle me into staying there too. Angle you. You did. What you were like Georgetown. So I, I looked up Georgetown. Watching the Lodge live stream here on a Saturday. Like and subscribe to all videos and channels. There's stuff, man. There's just people. There was an accident today. This guy. Yeah. Hope it's worth the cultural exploration. Borderline. <laughs> Thank you. Are you in Georgetown? No, I'm not in Cedar Park. In where? Cedar Park? It's the other way. Okay, gotcha. All in announced from Alex. A snap call from Brad. Cards are going to be on their backs. $77,000. One of the biggest pots of the evening. Come on, Brad. Whatever you want. I just go once. And Brad wants to go once for blood. A safe turn card. For Brad. And a safe river card. 
Um, I had like 60 to start, I think. Alex, the big winner on Friday, doubles down on Saturday and not running quite as good. And Brad, from the dungeon to the penthouse. It's a great day at the lodge. Leave you in capable hand. No, Do you like the out. ocean, Doug? Are you, you ever gone deep sea fishing? Bad cards. I'm a man of the land. I thought you'd be scared. Like of my the water. feet firmly planted on the ground here. And you know what? Ground is the best place to have them planted at. The lodge. Come on down to Austin, Texas. Sorry, Brad. No, here we go. Back to the game. Trey is going to open it up with the pocket sixes. Brad now. How much? 2,000. Jack 10 of clubs makes it 2,000 to go. Wait, shark bait's in here too. He's got queens. Again, queens. Wow. A lot of big hands for shark bait today. How is he going to play this? Get a Capri Sun. Just going to call. Ace King for Wolfgang, but he's not at the table. Oh my God. Wow. What? Oh my Lord. Another Ace King folds free. Yeah. The ghost of Wolfgang. And Trey only has 6,400 behind here. <laughs> this is a gross spot. Should just lay it down. Yes, into the muck. Nothing you can do there but lay it down. Uh, yeah. All right, we're taking a flop. Right, I have. And Wolfgang's back at the table now. Missed one hand. And he would have flopped trip aces. <laughs> oh, boy. Shark bait, two pair, jack high, and a dream for Brad. 1% equity. You should, yeah, you should put a bank sticker on me next time you wreck me in a hand. I brought him. Oh, I got a little nervous. Like Reaching for chips here. here. Oh, dude. It would have been even better that way. It's like super quiet. He's going to bet small on the flop. Shark bait. Reaching for chips. It's not going anywhere. Honestly, I have to thank this guy for it. He really took it from here to there. Did I? Did yeah. What do you mean? Remember the meetup you came uh, at the Hustler? Six on the turn. Yeah. Like, and you got pretty hammered, and you're like, <laughs> Jack-10 of clubs is actually one of your better barrel off hands here, Skull, because you block ace-jack, ace-10 of clubs, some of the suited ace combos. That's great. So, not too, too relevant, but you kind of need some non-equity triples IMO here. Well, yeah, definitely, like, definitely bang. Spades and clubs are going to kind of be better. IMO, in my opinion. Yeah, IMO. In my wow. opinion. Oh, we got a turn barrel here. Big barrel. I like this a lot from Brad, actually. This is this is a nice hand to do it with. He's finding a good bluff combo. Shark bait up out of his seat, looking across the table to his opponent, Mr. Brad Owen. This is a pretty cool hand here, Skull. It's a nice big bet from Brad in the turn. Hand makes a lot of sense to bluff with. Now for shark bait. With queens, you're going to feel a little torn on one hand. It's pretty easy for either player to have an ace. He's just going to let it go. Wow. Nice turn bet from Brad. It's one of those spots I think a lot of players don't find because you can't have like a straight draw or a flush draw. you got to get creative and think about what hands make the most sense to bluff with. And I think that that hand oh, specifically wow. is a very nice. smart hand to use, and, and Brad managed to figure it out and uh, get it done. That's how old I am. My son's 10 years old and he wants a cell phone. I'm thinking, I didn't even know what that was. I just yeah. wanted a landline at 10 years old yeah. in my room. Andrew remembers those days. Landlines. For sure. You want it in your room when you were a kid. That's all you want was your own phone mm -hmm. in your room. Landlines. Never had my own line. Neither. Jack and I suited. Mandatory three bit. <laughs> That's from the small bar. I didn't get a cell phone until I think early 30s. Really? Jack and I see it as uh, hearts. <laughs> he's, like, he's like 12 years old right here. <laughs> yeah, I got Let's see. 800. Ace king for Brad, flush draw and the overs. Pocket fives for Alex. We had car phones where they were yeah. mounted into the car. Car phone? Yeah, <laughs> right in the was, middle. Yeah, it was mounted into yeah. the car. What kind of it was a. Uh, my parents drove a Lincoln. Yeah. Kind of Alex gonna keep Brad honest. Makes the call. Oh.
but it was just for in case for emergency. Otherwise, and now Brad picks up a Broadway draw, a minute. looking for an ace, like, king, queen, or heart. Call on this. You're going to be paying for. It this slows thing. down. So expensive for emergencies only. Yeah. Kind of a cool concept though. In the car. Yeah, but it was a landline, like yeah. in the car, so you had a pink guy. Yeah, it's corded. Like, yes. <laughs> and there's the queen. So runner, runner, nuts. For Brad. It's just like a different era. Like people won't, won't know about that going forward. I gave, there's a, uh, a TikTok video of showing of young kids trying to do a rotary oh, phone. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen, I've seen that. So my... My daughter has a, check. a Mickey Mouse. Goes phone. check, uh, check. That doesn't even work, and we gave it. Brad to tries to son. trap you that river, hoping and praying that Alex would fire, but he wisely to figure out. checks behind. Huh? Yeah, we had one of those in the Something like that. Yeah. yeah. Have you seen Soprano? No. Dude, that's been on my list. Mariano's Sopranos up. is so good. Respect. I went. I, I'd never seen it until last year, and then I just watched Thank the you. whole. Binged it? Yeah, I binged it pretty uh, quickly as well. Brad looks like he's gonna make a move here. Got the nip uh, button. So does Andrew. I just watched Elvis on the plane I on the way here. It's it. pretty sweet. I like yeah. That, yeah. Sad, but and Shark yeah, Bait. I actually didn't know he's still in here. The movie. Yeah. I watched it in the theater. Yeah. Got the eight six off suit. Oh my God! He's reaching for chips. Oh. That's not the one. Oh, he's back in there. Oh my Lord! Shark Bait over the top. Thirty six hundred to go. It's weird seeing Tom Hanks. Andrew folds. I do not like him. Yeah. Because in every movie, you know, Tom Oh, like, man. Yeah. Wilson. Oh, God, what does Brad do now I here? He doesn't Sully. look like he wants to fold. Oh, it's awesome. It's about, uh, kind of awkward pilot. to raise here, though, in Brad's shoes. Yes. He's yeah. just going to call. Okay, we're going to play a four-bit pot. A couple of premiums here. A couple of nits, too. A red dots. Ooh, a couple of nits. Big words from the commentary booth. It's a dick game. They got their red dots. I know, I know. I'm just teasing. Okay, uh, middle pair now for Brad. He moves into the lead. Uh, the question's going to be how does Sharkbait want to play it? Like, um, 2100. Like 20 really mm -hmm. Anybody seen that? It's a movie? No. It's uh, actually based on Middle pair for Brad. Uh, it's like really good it's likely he's going to want to see a turn. The question's going to be how long can he hold on for if Sharkbait really turns on the heat. Yeah, like in the 90s. Yeah. So maybe get something spicy. A five? Yeah, let's like, let's heat this up a little bit. Ooh, ace. Oh, Brad has two pair now. Born a champion. Up against the eight high of shark bait. Are you into oh, shark man. Bite? Every dollar he's no, reaching for. It's never coming back. It's never coming back. Shark bait does have a lot of aces in his range. The aggressor pre, but drawing dead. And Brad goes for the check jam, and that's going to shut it down. Would have been nice to maybe just flat there and see if shark bait continues to fire. In Vegas once. But Brad wants to shut it down and does. Wins himself a pot, loses the nip button. Do it all. Yeah. <laughs> Round of 200s announced, and also oh, Mariano here, huh? wants to blast off. See Let's see if he's a man of his word. I did not, no. You were in the game, so I think you did. Oh, my, my brain just like blurted out. Maybe, you, maybe. Yeah, you stayed the whole time. Yeah. The worst hand versus the best hand. <laughs> the poker. Easy. It was against easy. I know. Yeah. It's kind of hard not to. This much. Do it against him. I'm back, baby. He's back. I'm back. And wow, Mariano talks about blasting off and immediately looks down at Pocket Queen's three bets to $3,500. And Brad has a real one. Ace Queen off, four bets to 8000 The perfect spot here for Mariano has Brad crushed. Must be nice. Snap calls. Must be nice to snap for anything. Just to know you're alive. <laughs> Check. Ten, ten, eight. Brad not gonna fire in a C bet. Checks behind here for some pot control, and it's a boat. Check. Mariano trapping here. A well disguised. 
pair of ladies, and Brad's reaching for chips here on the turn. Small wager, 4,000. Brad got stacked early on here by Mariano and has battled all the way back. Makes the call. And there it is, the Barry Greenstein ace on the river. From way behind to the check mark and $25,000 in the middle. A boat for both players, and Brad goes for the same uh, it's too small. milky sizing, gets snapped off and paid $30,000. Oh, I'm in here. I'm in the mix. You have a queen? Or? No. No way. You had a queen. Yeah. You see? See on TV? Alex, I gotta know. What's up with the exact sizing, the 21 7? Like, why? What is I that? I, I gotta know. I, I don't understand my brain sometimes, too. Much. <laughs> I'd love to explain it to you. Man. I wanna know. Maybe we can do like a autopsy when I pass away. <laughs> It just seemed right, man. Maybe some secrets are better left untold. Yeah. Seven raises to 35. Mariano with the jiggities. Again, four bets to 3,500. Brad? Yeah. Like, with the tens yeah, on the button. Like, it's Here we go, folks. All right. Set for Mariano. Brad makes the call here. In big trouble. Needs some help. Does pick up the diamond draw now. Mm. Wait. <laughs> um. All right. Seven bets, thirty thousand. Super hard. That's 30,000. That's going to put Brad all in if he makes the call. Makes the call here. Brad looking for a diamond. They're going to run it once. It's up to me, sure. No diamond. Mariano with the set. <clears throat> Take all of Brad's chips.